Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkul Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful, professional looking portfolio website just like this one without writing a single line of code. And if you want, you can have this website completely free of cost. As you can see, I have got this free domain name and you can have this uh, have a domain name like this completely free as well. So let me show you the full website. It's going to skills and tools. Then we have got work experience and then we have got testimonial section just take a look how beautiful this design sir then we have got pricing table if you want you can keep this table otherwise you can delete this one and i'm actually going to show you how to do this then we have got in the bottom part we have got the social media icons we have got some portfolio link you can put your phone number instead or let's say your dribble link or any other portfolio site if you want to link here you can put your email address here and if i take you to the top of that page just take a look we have got this button whenever someone will click on this hire me button they are going to land to my upwork profile from where they'll be able to hire me with the charge that i am charging here right so you i'm actually going to show you how you can put your professional link professional profile link here under this hire me button it could be your fiber profile or whatever it is and then we have got these icons as you can see whenever someone will click on this let's say on this instagram they are going to visit my instagram profile from where they will be able to send me a message if they need to discuss or if they need to or if they want to connect with me on instagram okay so and i'm actually going to show you how you can put your image how you can put your information in each one of these fields how you can put your information in on each one of these fields so without further ado let me take you to the website where you have to visit at the very beginning and i'm going to attach the website link into the video description field for your easy access please use the url from the video description here is the website doric beta and if you just read this part design and host beautiful websites without code so we are going to create this beautiful website without writing a single line of code so after visiting this website simply you have to click on this try doric now button or on this login button so if i click on login after that if i click on this sign in with google you can simply select whatever email address gmail account actually you want to use so i'm going to use this gmail address and it is going to take me directly to my account dashboard so even you don't have to create an account to use this website just imagine how beautiful and how easy it is to get started okay so after signing to your doric account simply you have to click on this create new website button right here and after that you are going to be able to choose any of these templates if you want or you can simply create a website from the scratch but in this video i'm going to show you how you can choose a template and you can customize the template for your usage to make the process easy and here we go we have got this website right so now if you want to click on this uh, preview this website simply click on this preview button right here so that you will be able to see how this website is going to be looking like uh, for your use and just take a look it is like this right so now i would love to select this template so let's click on select button right here and within few seconds it is going to take you to this page now let me show you how we can start customizing this website first let's start with the name as you can see hello i am and i'm going to uh, insert my name to make the change here simply whenever you will hover over on any element let's say if i want to change make a change here on this hello i am if i hover over here and you are going to see these options as you can see this uh, drag and move element then we have got edit element copy or duplicate element save element delete and then if you want to delete this simply you can click on this delete element and just take a look the element has been deleted now if i want to undo this delete or make this change undo simply if i click here it is going to be coming up here or coming back here now let me make the change here on this name and to do this just simply hover over your cursor here and after that simply click on this edit element button right here and then you are going to see that you will be able to make the change right here now if you want to change these parts or this um, tool uh, on any place you can simply do this oops sorry you can simply do this like this right so this is pretty easy now i'm going to make the change i'm going to select this first name and i'm going to type out archarul 
and after that I'm going to type out Rafi and if I simply click on this cross icon just notice here it is automatically being saved for us now hello I am Achar Rafi right it's time to provide my title here and to do this simply hover over your cursor right here and after that click here on this edit element button and after that paste or provide your information let's say if i if i was providing let's say virtual assistant services i would simply type out virtual assistant okay and if i cross this out just take a look i have got virtual assistant added already right so now if i want to preview this page it is pretty simple if i click on this eye icon right here it is going to show us the page or the change what we have made here right so now let me cross this out and after that I'm going to make the change here uh, so to do this I have to simply click on this edit element button and I'm going to type out let's say uh, freelance freelance web designer and I'm going to cross this out and after that let me make the change on these icons and after that I'm going to make the change on image and on the logo and this text button okay so let me hover over here and if I click on this edit element I'll be able to see all of these icons as you can see social media icons and Instagram LinkedIn Pinterest Twitter and let's say I don't want to get Twitter or Pinterest here so in this case I can simply delete Pinterest and in instead of Pinterest I'd love to add Facebook and let me click on this add new button right here you are going to see item 4 now if I click here or actually in this down arrow button it is going to show me select icons from here I can select Facebook just take a look we have added Facebook and after that if I want to provide my Facebook URL here this is pretty simple I'm going to type out my Facebook URL Facebook you can put your URL and if you can select as you can see open in new tab so that whenever someone will click here the URL will be opened in a new tab as it has done here so whenever someone is clicking here it is opening the link in a new tab right so this is going to work fine so now let's make the change on let's say on uh, on Instagram okay so I'm going to provide change the URL from Facebook to Instagram URL. Well, it is going to be HTTPS and this is my Instagram ID and I'm going to select open in new tab and let me cross this out and same way you can change the uh, links for LinkedIn Twitter and you can delete any one of these icons if you want so let me show you how you can um, simply place them in the proper place let's say I want Facebook at the very first stage so simple if I click here and after that if I simply drag this Facebook up right here and now if I cross this out just take a look I have got Facebook then I have got Instagram LinkedIn and then this Twitter icon right so this is this easy to make the customization on this builder and I really I'm just started loving this builder I'm so uh, glad I have found this um, um, like website so let me just click on this edit element to make the change on this um, profile picture so I'm going to click here and after that simply if I delete this one let me click on add new image and after that I'm going to add this image let's click on open and just wait while it is being uploaded here and here we go I have got this image already appearing here now let's just cross this out and after that I was about to make the change here on this uh, logo so to make the change it is pretty simple if I click on this edit element button right here you are going to see brand logo simply delete this logo from here and if you just notice we have got no logo as of now so in this case you can uh, simply upload a logo right here so by clicking on this button so let's click here and after that I want to add this one as my logo so let's click on open and just take a look I have got this logo already appeared now we can simply provide some information here let's say Acharul Rafi's logo or whatever text you would love to provide and then you can give a link here on which website it should load so I obviously going to keep this on the home page or we can simply add some uh, some other URL so if I type out HTT uh, okay let's just keep this as it is okay so you can put your home page URL so in this case whatever URL we are going to give we are going to place this right here okay so it will uh, work nice 
Now I'm going to cross this out and okay, so I have to make the change here. To do this, simply let's click here on this edit element again. And after that, you are going to find, if I take you a little bit down, you're going to find this option links. If I click here, it is going to show me the link text. As you can see, hire me, you can make the change here. Let's say work with me. So I'd love to keep this to hire me. It is more uh, professional, I guess. So hire me and after that you can put an URL. So in this case, I'm going to take my Upwork, Acharul Rafi. And yeah, this is the URL. I'm going to copy and paste. Yeah, so I'm going to copy this URL from here. And let's go back here. And I'm going to paste the URL right here. And after putting the um, Upwork URL, I have to simply click on this open in new tab so that whenever someone will click on this link, the URL will be opened in a new tab, okay? So now let me, you can change, as you can see this icon, you can change this icon to whatever uh, icon you would love. So let's say I want this icon, you'll be able to select this one. But the previous one was real nice. So I can simply click on this undo button and here we go, we have got this. Now if I show you some other things here uh, from link styles, you can simply increase or decrease the size of these things decrease the, increase the size of the text if you want so i'd love to keep it to 18 pixels it looks good and after that you can change the color if you want as you can see you can make the change whatever color you'd love to use you can simply um, choose from here so i guess the other color which was previously was real nice so in this case i'd love to keep it as it is and after that, you have got these icon stuff. So as you can see, icon position, it was currently selected to right. So this is why it is placed after this hire me. But if you want, you can keep it to uh, the before the text, right? By pushing it to left. So let, let's just put it to right and it is looking great. And if you want to create a button, it is going to be really easy if I click on add new. Just take a look, we are seeing something happening here. But let's not talk about these button stuffs because I'd love to I, I just love this version of this website and if you want me to uh, show you the other ways and some more advanced stuffs to use on this website let me know by commenting below I'd love to uh, show you for sure in one of the future videos. So let's say you want to make some change on the background color how you can do this it is pretty simple. So let me just show you although I don't I, I'm just loving the background color it is it already has but I'd love to show you how you can make the change. So simply you have to select this full section and after that just take a look edit section style from here if i click here and make the change whatever you want if you want you can simply give a gradient color just like this by choosing the colors from here whatever color you would love to put right so this is how we can customize everything of this website even this corner part okay so let me show you from section frame from corner if I show you, just take a look, the styles are being changed and you can place them nicely um, based on your preference, right? So you can put them to top right, you can put them to bottom left. So these are kind of like unnecessary stuff for this video. So in this case, I'd love to undo these settings and I'd love to get back to the black person, which looked real great at least in my eyes, I don't know um, how do you love to go. So just take a look, I'm just back with the previous version. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to the this part, okay? So in this part, let's say I, okay, one thing that I'd love to show you if this website is already responsive or not. So um, let me just click on this save, bus save button right here. And after that, if I take you to this uh, tablet option, just take a look you are going to have this website completely responsive at the very beginning. Just take a look, right? So let's go to mobile version. You are going to see that this website is already responsive, right? Just take a look. This website is already responsive. So now let me just take you back to this desktop version. And after that, let me take you back to our work. I'm going to make the change on this image. So instead of this image, I'd love to put another image of mine which is going to be this one let's click on open and let's just wait while it is being uploaded 
okay just take a look i have got this image added now i would love to see this image um particularly like transfer uh, trans transformed as you can see here we are saying this one is looking from this side left side so we are going to make the change and it is really easy so let's click on this edit element and after that from style we are going to click on transform and from here as you can see translate from vertical we are oops not here actually so i'd love to click on this okay and we actually have to rotate okay so here we go we have to click on rotate and from vertical we are going to be able to make the change as we want just take a look right so by simply dragging this icon here we are being able to set this image as we wanted so this is this easy to use now i am going to type out something on about me let's say i want to add some text from um, this thing this page it is going to be easy for me to copy and paste so let me just click on this edit element and after that i'm going to copy this thing copy and select and paste these things here just take a look i have just entered all the information i can simply cross this out now let's make the change here on this text it is pretty simple click on edit let's go back here let's select this text copy and let's go back here paste this information right so just take a look how easy it is to make the necessary changes based on your need now let's say let's work on this button it is pretty simple if i click here we were you are going to find these things as you can see the styles and other stuff so i'd love to keep the style as it has but i'd love to change the link so in this case i'm going to click on this button link and i'm going to provide my upwork url again and new tab and after that i'd love to change the text to as you can see button text i'm going to make the change to hire me and then i'd love to yep it's looking great hire me it's okay now let's just cross this out and if i simply yeah it's already been saved now if i take you here in this part again the same thing we can simply make the change by selecting and clicking on this edit element so let's say i would love to say website design let's cross this out we can simply click on edit element and we can put the information whatever we want to place but i'd love to skip because i believe you already got the idea how things works so let's make the change on these uh, titles so i'm going to type out landing page and cross this out then i'd love to keep this one to let's say uh, website optimization speed optimization just as an example and we can provide the other information for sure by clicking here we can make the change like i am rafi just as an example okay huh? right so all looks good so i'm going to undo this one undo and i'd love to keep this it is looking nice now let's go to my works in this case i'm going to upload an image just to show you how it works so it is pretty simple if you want to delete any one of these columns first of all let me show you how you can delete so simply click here and then click on this delete column and just take a look how beautifully it is being aligned right automatically it is getting the alignment nicely so i would love to keep the let's say uh, four works in this case i'm going to just simply delete it so now to make the change it is pretty simple click on this edit element button right here delete this part click on add new image and i'd love to upload this image just to show you the process upload and it is going to be added right here okay so it's just been added now i want to provide a link here so that whenever someone will hover over they will be if they want to see the work they will be able to click and they will redirect it to my original work so if i take this rafi1.unix which we have created completely free as well so if i take you let's say image okay and from here as you can see image link url if i click on link and from url i can put the url here and in a new tab and here we go i've got this so now 
before I go further, I would love to upload or actually say publish this website. So let me click on publish and after that I have to give a project name. So in this case, I'd love to give let's say Rafi's one and let's keep it to doric.io as the subdomain and I'd love to give the URL as well like Rafi's one dot doric io it is going to be be my website address and if you want you can use a custom domain but for this you need to um, let's say uh, purchase their premium subscription so here i have got rafi's dot uh, doric dot io so if i click on publish site just take a look it is currently working on publishing the site if you just notice site published successfully now if someone clicks here they are going to be able to see my website here right just take a look i have got this website now let me just show you by going into a new browser and if i click here and hit enter just take a look rafis oneorgio if someone clicks on this hire me button they are going to be landed to my upward profile from where they will be able to hire me if someone visits my uh, clicks on my facebook uh, icon they are going to visit my Facebook page and again I have got all the information that I just entered if someone clicks on this hire me button they are going to be landed to my upward profile as I have provided and then we made change here on these things and let me show you how you can change these icons as well and now I was about to show you this thing as you can see whenever I'm hovering over my cursor on this image if I click here it is going to take us to a website it is a on a free hosting so it is a little slow website but let me show you again if this is going to work yes it is loading as you can see our total is free website okay it's, yeah here we go we have got this e-commerce website so we created this website step by step completely free as well so just take a look how beautiful it is with full functions now i'm going to cross this out and now let's just go back to the editor panel to show you how we can change these icons right so i am actually going to cross this out as of now and i'm going to cross this out as well okay let's cross this from here now let me show you how you can change the icons to do this simply click on this edit element after hovering over click on edit element and then you can choose whatever icon you would love to uh, select so in this case let's click on load more and I'd love to make a search for web and okay so yeah I can simply select from here I'm going to select this one as an example right so this is how you can actually um, change the icons based on your need now uh, I've just shown how we can change this part of adding new image and how you can place a link here so that whenever someone will click they will be landed to a new page or the actual work page right so now let me show you how we can work on this field which is pretty similar as I have shown in the top of this section or pay, uh, website so let me make some change here on these things simple if I type out let's say uh, website uh, HTML as an example sorry HTML and then in this column I'm going to type out CSS in this column I'd love to type out JavaScript and let's say I'd love to keep them as there but I want to have only three items here instead of these four columns I want only three in this case how we can make the change it is pretty simple if I click here on this edit column I'll be able to set like one third so if I click here it is going to take this one third placement right so now if I simply duplicate this by let's say crossing it out if I click here let's click on duplicate let's click on duplicate duplicate again and if I just really delete all the other columns okay delete and I'm going to make some change here for CSS and then I'm going to make a duplicate of this column as well and instead of CSS I'm going to type out JavaScript 
javascript and simply you can change the icons as well if i click on edit element and then change the icon from here okay so now you can actually provide a link to the icon as well but i'm just sim simply going to cross this out as of now okay so as you can see right so now i'd love to delete these from here to do this simply delete column and yeah i have got so many things so many icons so i have to remove them okay and delete delete and yeah i actually have to row delete this row okay and just take a look how beautiful it is looking like as of now i can now simply delete from this column as well and just take a look it is already in centered aligned so you can simply customize based on your need right so from work experience this is pretty simple you can change the logo as you can see from image you can change the logo i am actually going to uh, show you by adding this one here and after that you can simply make the change on the names as you can see this was actually a logo the complete one and then you can change the name as you can see i'm going to type out something like let's say upwork uh, edit element upwork ink and you can provide the other information like you can simply make the change as you need so i'm actually going to show you uh, just a few so i'm actually going to provide 2012 the year i started working on upwork okay just take a look it is pretty simple you can make all the necessary changes as you need simple you can provide your client's name here you can provide their uh, designation here by clicking on this you can simply make the change and then you can simply click here change the image let's say i am a i am a client in this case i'm simply uploading my image and come on yep it is going to be updated and yep just take a look and if you want to make the change here you can simply make the change i am the freelancer and i am the client in this case ashur uh, rafi and then ceo and company okay so this is how you can add the testimonials of your clients to your wordpress website and this is pretty simple and then you can work on this pricing table let's say starter pack platinum pack uh, pack ultimate pack so in this case i am going to make some changes here i'm going to work on a uh, one page website one page website and i'm going to provide them let's say um stock image and i'm going to create a logo for them just as an example they are going to provide me the logo for sure high resolution then speed optimized or seo optimized and then let's say i am going to provide something else let's say speed optimized speed optimized website okay and then i can make the change to one page website one sorry one page website and you can simply select like let's say this one up to five page website you can select this one to e-commerce website if you want and then you can simply put the uh, order url here right the upwork url then we have got get in touch again the same process you can simply uh, provide the information here and then you can provide the url links as i have already shown in the previous section right here as i have shown you can simply follow the process and let's go back again you can make the change here on this link and in this case i'm going to provide my youtube url just as an example youtube.com slash ashurrafi editor okay and here in instead of this email address i am going to provide my email address let's say uh, mdrafi9 at the rate gmail.com and here we go okay so now if i click on just take a look it is automatically being saved now if i click on publish it is going to be published on the original site 
and now if someone visit this web page in this URL or whatever URL you are going to choose let's visit this here you are going to see that the website is working really really fast although we have got this completely free and we have got this SSL certificate enabled as well connection is secure and just take a look within like few minutes we have got our professional looking uh, website portfolio website which is really really professional looking and now anyone will be able to contact us through our portfolio website and will be able to hire us they will be able to see our works on from these parts and it is edc right so this was it guys if you want to create a beautiful portfolio website i believe there is no other easy options than this you can take the opportunity and i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends get a professional looking portfolio website and Please use the link attached into the video description to visit Doric so that I'll get some commission um, without any cost to you uh, if you are purchasing their premium plans. And yeah, so that's it. I believe uh, you enjoyed the video. If you did, please again like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos about website building, uh, Doric, Doric's more tutorial, WordPress tutorial, Elementor tutorial and everything about uh, website design and portfolio building uh, e-commerce site building uh, it is it is so thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye